I wanted to get this vlog started. It is Monday the 21st and I think that this is gonna be going all the way until Christmas Day, so the 25th. But I'm going to my mom's house right now. I'm really excited to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm mostly just picking up a present that she got for Adam's family. Other than that, I am listening to Burn For Me and I'm about 31% of the way through, so we'll keep listening to that on my drive. That's my reading plan right now, is listen to Burn For Me and then, I don't know. Maybe we'll watch a Christmas movie tonight. I don't know. It's like getting into the Christmas spirit part two. How a procrastinator gets into the spirit five days before, four days before Christmas. Love that for us. Okay, bye-bye. So, I didn't end up going to my mom's. There's a reason though. She texted me and she's like, don't you wanna just come over after work tomorrow? And I was like, I work tomorrow. I forgot. And you would think like, Brittany, that must mean you got so many things done since you didn't go to your mom's house. And you would unfortunately be wrong as much as I would like you to be right. Adam picked me up and we got in and out. Oh, was this already something that had happened that I cut bangs? I think it already happened. Okay, cool. That was an impulsive decision for the day. I don't really know if I did it very well because I am not a hairdresser, but my hairdresser didn't do it right. So that's why I did it. And uh, then I had to work on a video for a sponsorship I'm doing because there was just like a few things that I had to fix and stuff like that. And I didn't do any extra Christmas decorating, unfortunately. So maybe I'll do something like that in the next few minutes. Because of that, I also didn't listen to any of Burn For Me. So I think that what I'm gonna do right now is maybe get some reorganizing done. I feel like I wanna pull this desk a little over that way. And then if that gets done, then I can decorate a tiny bit. Oh, you know what? There's Christmas shopping to be done. I don't know if you guys have seen those TikToks of like the lady that explains what having ADHD is like and I just, I get her because here, let's start it this way. I'm basically going to mimic the kinds of uh, videos that she makes, but basically I turned on my camera because I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. I have to make a clip talking about the winter solstice and that, you know, I didn't end up doing anything today. <laughs> So I turned on my camera to do that and then I was like, oh wait, but the light is weird, I have to change the light. And then after the light was on and we were talking for a minute, I saw the Christmas decorations and was like, oh yeah, that's what I was supposed to do today. And then I was like, oh, but I wanted to move over the desk and I was thinking about putting that bookshelf in the bathroom and then I was like, oh, but that means I wanna put the shelves up on the wall that way I could have my bullet journals on the wall. And then I was like, wait, but I need to get more wallpaper for that wall, that's why I haven't done the shelf thing yet. And then I was like, oh yeah, I have to get that wallpaper from Amazon. And I'm like, oh my God, I have a whole Amazon shopping cart. And I'm like, oh yeah, gift shopping. I have to do gift shopping. Oh, and now I just saw my advent calendar. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I feel like, it seems like it because it just seems so erratic but anyways i haven't actually opened it for the past couple of days so i think we have two or three to open because this is the 24 23 22 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 20 21 22 23 24 yeah so seven and eight cool oh wait no it's the 21st so seven eight nine <gasps> not that I can't believe I ripped it. A nail file though. I was wondering what would be in such a long box. I'm like, they just really made that for, for a nail polish. Cool. Uh, I love getting nail files. Nice. This is a good investment for my nails. All right, let's see what was in the square box too because that's the only other non nail polish shaped thing. Ooh, cool. Nail art stickers. So one looks like little pearls. Oh my God. And the other one's snowflakes. I don't know if that was perfectly in focus, but that's so neat. I've never used nail art stickers. I always felt like, oh, that's a splurge that I'm not willing to splurge on. Oh yeah, and then nine. Oh, why does this remind me of like Pepto-Bismol? It's just like a shade of like very soft bubblegum pink. It's called Nourishing Elixir. Is this also like a base? That's really neat. So this is another nourishing one, potentially, question mark? I have to look it up. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys go for tonight. I am going to talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna play a little bit of Burn For Me. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna film, didn't I? Mm. Very scattered brain, very scattered brain night. I feel like that all started when I decided to cut my own hair. Like I was like, this is my moment. Anyways, bye. What's up guys? Uh, it's Tuesday, 22nd. 
work was fine. Honestly, I had a good day today, but I started getting a headache an hour, maybe two hours into my shift, and it's just slowly gotten worse. And I did my makeup. I made the TikTok and everything. I really wanted to be able to like push through this headache and film. I just am so tired. I'm so tired. And I feel like if I just go to sleep, then I'll be able to function better. It's just an easy video. I really just want to film my owl crate and my fairy loot. So I might still do that. Um, I did finish a book today. I finished Burn For Me by Ilana Andrews. I loved it. I was texting Mika as I finished it and I was like, this was literally amazing. Like it has so many features of A Court of Mist and Fury in a good way. I want to give it maybe a four out of five because as much as i love it i feel like there's definitely some things that could have been better it's not, it wasn't perfect you know um but i did actually go ahead and pick up the next book in the series which is i think white hot or something like that let me look yep white hot i'm three hours into that uh i wanted to pick up phoenix burning i think it's is what it's called which is another book on my tbr for the month but it's still not available at my library so i'm waiting for that. I did some more Christmas shopping today. There's a little bit more to get done tomorrow. I feel like with all the Christmas shopping, it's been hard to find time to just like sit down and plan my journals out for next year. I don't really know what to do about that, you know. <laughs> this is a strange update. I'm sorry. Again, I have a headache. I just realized like I was gonna try and film right now but fairy loot in the owl crate and I'm like wow I'm out of it. Like I'm so out of it. I keep talking and it's like the more I talk the more my head hurts. Oh, I also have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned this. I went to the dentist last month, or last month. I went to the dentist last week and they said that since I get so many headaches that there's a possibility it's coming from my jaw just because it's very tense. Like they said a lot more tense than someone my age's jaw normally is. So that makes sense because I know I feel a lot of pain like in my jaw area whenever I get these kinds of headaches. The solution unfortunately isn't like really a solution because it's expensive. It's getting... Botox injected into the muscles which like temporarily paralyzes but it's expensive and it's not covered by insurance so I'll just keep living keep getting a more and more square jaw because the muscles are so tense and muscular <laughs> sorry this was a really weird update I don't know how I'm gonna edit it I think I'm just gonna turn in for the night oh wait I wanted to do my advent calendar This is perfect. It's like a frosty blue. It's called Snowboy. This is perfect. I really want to do like a snowflake thing for actual Christmas. Love that. Only two more days left until Christmas. I still have to wrap everything too. Oh, I need to plan out my day or my, the rest of my week. That way I can get everything done. Because with no plan, I get nothing done, you know? All right, um, that's gonna be it. Yeah, I think that I'm just going to turn in for the night. My head just is too wishy-washy, but we'll see. Good night, guys. I also forgot to mention I found my tripod. It was in Adam's car. Yep. Today was eventful. It's definitely nighttime now, sorry. I feel like I only do updates at night. So last night I ended up filming the video and my headache was killer. I'm actually going to look at the footage soon, so <laughs> I feel like I was making no sense, but we'll see. But I ended up going to sleep and I really, really slept in. Um, I definitely was trying to just sleep off the headache. And I had a dentist appointment this morning. And while I was there, my mom actually came with me because she wanted to hear more. He kind of talked her through it and was like explaining the whole treatment and she was like oh yeah 100% like it's gonna help with your headaches because I've been getting them so much lately it's a kind of expensive no it's definitely an expensive treatment so I'm really really grateful that we were able to do it and we'll see if this works because it's an expensive thing to keep up and if it doesn't work I'm not going to be keeping it up you know I'm curious because some people like your jaw is tensed up so much of the time that like it swells obviously like any muscle and I kind of want to take before pics to see if my jaw shrinks from lack of use I look very serious in these pictures <laughs> See, I've noticed for a while that like this side of my jaw looks bigger and that's the side that apparently has most of the problem. So we'll see. I'd be curious. Maybe my jaw won't be so square. 
who knows? But after that, my mom and I just went and did some Christmas shopping together, which was really nice. And yeah, now I actually wanted to wrap some presents. I think that for tonight, what I'm gonna do is wrap the presents that I have, um, see if there's anything left that I need to get still for tomorrow. Then I want to start like officially planning, plotting down my journals. Before we do all that, let's open up the calendar because I want to paint my nails too. I don't know. I might just be taking off nail polish for tonight and see, wait and see for tomorrow what the last nail polish is going to be. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god, this works perfectly for like the snow theme that I want. So it says got you cookie. It's like a really nice creamy white. So, like it literally just reminds me of milk because you know milk is like, I don't know, not even milk, like heavy whipping cream, right? Because she's made whites before but I still feel like this one's different than those. It just reminds me of milk but that can work really well too. So we'll wait until tomorrow to open this one and then I'll probably be repainting my nails for just right before Christmas. Maybe I'll do like a little montage of the wrapping while I listen to more of White Hot. I'm 36% of the way in, so five hours in about. I'm really liking it. It's such a good like pleasurable read. Like it's fun, it's easy, a little tropey. I'm just here for it. Yeah, I think after that I might want to listen to Kingdom of the Wicked. I've been in the mood. Mm, it's not on Scribd. Let's see if something else is. Um, Blood and Ash. Nope. Nope. God, Scribd has been... If any of you guys have used Scribd for a while, can you guys let me know how you've felt about like the selection lately? Because I feel like most of the books that I look up on Scribd are no longer available or just don't even show up. I feel like it's a pretty rare occurrence when I find a book on Scribd now and I'm kind of debating on whether I should just cancel my membership because there's months where I don't even use Scribd or at least it feels that way. Also, just in case you haven't watched or don't watch my unboxings, I posed a question there that I want to pose to you guys. I feel like more people tend to watch my vlogs. I'm debating right now. I mean, I already bought the journal, so I'm kind of annoyed at myself if I end up doing this, but I'm debating not making a reading bullet journal next year and yeah. using instead the Owl Crate version of the reading journal. To be fair, I feel like I had a really hard time this year with like feeling motivated to use my journal. I don't know. I saw like the way that the new one was set up in the Owl Crate and I loved how it was set up, honestly, and I'm just debating it. So like, let me know if you guys have any suggestions on that because I feel like in general, my bullet journal videos are not like the most popular, which is fine. I don't mind that, but it's more of like, if you guys don't really care to see them in general, maybe I'll just use the Owl Crate. Or maybe you have a suggestion where both can be used or maybe more of like along the lines of using the Owl Crate and still making themes in a journal just for people to keep along with. Maybe making videos of using the Owl Crate one. I don't know. Um, just let me know what you think because I was, I do really, really like how the new Owl Crate journal looks. So I'm gonna start wrapping presents. Oh, also, I kind of wanted to mention with like the jaw thing because one of the main reasons why we decided to go for this route instead of um, doing different situations is because I don't clench my jaw in my sleep. Like that isn't when I'm getting like a lot of my attention. I do it a lot while I'm focused, like especially when I'm editing or at work, anything like that. And it's a particular like jaw movement that I do. I actually edit it out of a lot of videos. I don't notice it most of the time. And even when I do notice it and stop myself, I keep doing it right after without thinking. But it's like a jaw movement where I'm like shifting my jaw a lot and it it's what's causing a lot of like the, uh, not only like the unevenness, but like just the tension. So our train of thought is if potentially, if this does work and it paralyzes the muscle enough, then I will stop doing that jaw movement enough to break the habit. So that even if once it wears off, I won't be in the habit of doing that jaw movement anymore and then hopefully will not get so many headaches because this year has been terrible with them. I've always had a migraine problem just because of the way my neck sits, but this year has been like a weekly thing and I've noticed that it's a very like strong tension kind of headache where it comes from like my temples and my jaw and everything colliding together. <laughs> I laugh because it sucks. thought I should mention that just because like with any hope this isn't something that's permanent. With any hope I can be trained to not be so dumb. You know? Oh, also, also, I almost forgot to mention, um, my 
Christmas order comes in tomorrow. So that means I can finally kind of finish my Christmas decorating tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Love that for me. Um, so like I got a mini tree because I had a mini tree last year, but I want it to match my black tree that's in the living room. So I got another little black mini tree and I got a tree skirt. So I'm super excited about those two things. So I guess while I listen to my audiobook, there's a few things to do. Actually, a lot of things. Love that for us. I've been wanting to do an update in front of the tree this entire vlog. Obviously we got the tree skirt in, which I'm really, really happy with. Uh, I had to do way more errands today. Even last minute gift shopping is still just extremely stressful and somehow it takes forever. So yeah, I'm going to be turning the house into like my perfect Christmas house. When I get back from my boyfriend's Christmas Eve thing with his family, um, I was just finishing up some of the little bits of wrapping, that way like my roommates don't see some of the things I got them before I head out. But now I'm just rushing out the door. Chala wants food, so I'm gonna feed him. And uh, when I get back, hopefully there will be all the presents under the tree and I'll have like the stockings up. I know this is super last minute, but did we expect anything more from me? No, we didn't because we know I procrastinate quite literally everything, even Christmas. Also, I only have makeup on my eyes because I was wearing a mask all day, obviously. I don't think I wanna put more on. Well, that's just how it's gonna be. So I'll talk to you guys then. Sure, do you want us to fuck this up? I mean, they have to get messed up eventually. It's not like they can stay wrapped for forever. But I'll be sad. Gotta get all the Did you find a good spot, Luna? Mm -hmm. Lay down some paper. Okay. Oh, cookies. How could you? How could you? <laughs> Christmas cat. These are regular. Christmas cat. Oh, wow. This is we're in love, Charlie. We're having a good time. Look at me, boy. Okay, goodbye. Oh, you 
then you're you're like, want to be like, yeah, yeah, you're really just gonna let me go like that? <laughs> Didn't want me in the first. Nah, I feel like I shouldn't be peeping on you doing this. Now everyone's gonna know what a dork you are. I don't know, that, that rip was kinda... Okay, we can, have, we can totally butt heads with things up. Alright, I'm gonna drop the tree. We were talking about... <laughs> no, not the tree! I'm not gonna harm the tree. Don't She's worry. you! Chala, don't yell at me! She makes that look comfortable. She's so adorable. I'm in love with her. The aftermath. <laughs> I swear this was clean before all of Christmas started. They've been fighting over a catnip toy that I got. By the way, I don't think I've talked about it yet, but I finished, I don't think I talked about it yet, but I finished White Hot by Ilana Andrews, or Ilana Andrews last night. I liked it. This was a slow burn romance, guys. I mean, it was like steamy, but it was slow burn. Like they didn't, they didn't slow burn, just know that. Um, but this last book was very satisfying in certain aspects and I'm excited to read the next one But I had to force myself not to pick up the next book and to actually get to my TBR So I picked up Hello Girls last night while I was finishing up wrapping took all night and I Loved it. I was instantly attached. I really love how Brittany Cavallero writes. I mean, I, I knew I would. I loved the Charlotte Holmes series, so I'm really glad that this was the book that Emma Books actually recommended to me. So far, like, these people have not let me down at all because Burn For Me was amazing, Hello Girls was amazing. Um, I think that the next one that I am going to try and pick up, I'm feeling Kingdom of the Wicked or These Violent Delights or Phoenix and Bound, or From Blood and Ash, which are the only books left on my DVR. But I don't know, I'm in a good like audio book kick, so I might really get through a lot. The past few days I obviously had to be in an audiobook kick just because all of the like stuff that I had to do for Christmas. Luckily, I mean, I love Christmas, I really do, but I feel like I'm very stressed during Christmas time. Luckily, I guess it's over now. Oh my gosh, wait, let's open it up. And then I can do my nails tomorrow before going to my mom's. We're going to my mom's house at noon tomorrow. It's called Buddy, like Buddy the Elf, and it's like sage green. I love it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I did a little montage of what the decorating looked like, I hope. Um, I have my little black Christmas tree, my mini one, right over here, and I love it. I don't want to take it down. Love this. I love that I put up the Christmas decorations just for Christmas tomorrow. The cats are yelling. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and get the cats to stop fighting over the one of the catnip toys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully before my mom's. Maybe I'll take some footage at my mom's. I don't know, we're just doing a little dinner. Hey everyone, it's Sun Saturday. Saturday. So, uh, yeah, I honestly didn't update you yesterday. I just went to my mom's house for Christmas. Um, 
It was really nice. I took a little bit of a video just of like the chaos of it. My mom got so many presents, which is great because we couldn't give her her birthday presents before. So we kind of, you know, I mean, at least for me, I gave her her birthday and Christmas presents all at the same time since she's a December baby. We just opened presents. We ate dinner. It was like a really lovely day, but the dinner was super, super heavy. So when we got back home, we crashed, honestly. So after dinner, we ended up driving over to some of the neighborhoods that uh, had really, really nice lights. So just one that I normally pass on my way home from work that I'd been dying to see. We finally checked it out. And then we also went to like the neighborhood Adam always likes to go to. They go crazy. I mean, you saw, I put in some footage of it. It was really nice. And it was just like a really great way to end Christmas. Um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, I obviously decorated last minute and then that was on the 24th. We opened presents. It was really fun to be able to open it with like my roommates and stuff. I'm kind of debating. I think I want to make a little video of just kind of like giving a little bit of a gift, gifts that I got on my other channel. Let me know if that would be something you'd be interested in. Otherwise, like I won't do it. <laughs> By the way, just in case you're wondering, I have tons of videos for my other channel that I just need, need to edit. You guys know I don't love editing, so I'm also too much of a control freak to get any kind of editor or anything like that. I just, I don't, I don't know how people can like hand over that much control. Just need to edit those videos and get them up. So hopefully I get there soon. So opening with presents with roommates, it was really, really fun, really nice. It was great to see what everyone got each other. Yesterday, opening presents with family was spectacular Christmas lights, got home, did a little bit of planning for my journal for next year. I think I'm still going to be filming the process, so I've just been kind of jotting things down with pencil. Um, my actual bullet journal, not my reading one. I'm still conflicted on whether I want to do a reading bullet journal this year or do the Owl Crate one. I just really like how the Owl Crate one looks, so. But I was trying to kind of decide where would everything would go. That's kind of it for today, just work in this. I just wanted to give you an update. I also finished, I told you that I finished, did I tell you that I finished Hello Girls? Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't give you ratings for any of these books. Uh, I gave four stars to, four stars, four stars to the one by Ilana Andrews, um, four stars to White Hot, and I think five stars to Hello Girls. I really like it. Five or four, I'm still conflicted. And I started Phoenix Unbound and I am about like a third of the way through. I'm liking it. I picked it up instead of Wicked Kingdom or From Blood and Ash because I was still kind of in a romance mood. So I was like, well, I don't want to read the next book in the like white hot trilogy or whatever it is because it's not on my TBR. So I moved over to Phoenix Unbound. And so far it's, it's good. It's a lot more detailed. It's giving me very strong like travel vibes, obviously, because she's traveling for a lot of the book. It's also giving me slight Witcher vibes. I don't know if it's like the the caravan at one point because like there is a caravan story in the short stories for the witcher so maybe that's really the only correlation maybe it's even like the the rugged man that fights and has scars and is misunderstood and the kind of sorceress-esque sassy companion maybe that's what's giving me witcher vibes i'm not sure i'm a third of the way through that hopefully i'll be finishing it up soon i've just been listening to it while i do some planning again i'll probably end this vlog tomorrow i was originally gonna end it on christmas but then i didn't even update you so hopefully i'll finish this by tomorrow we'll see i do work tomorrow let's see what my schedule is because up until now i really have not looked <laughs> look at this wicked scratch luna gave me look at that <laughs> Oh, also, I finally painted my nails. Um, it's not the best. And I didn't end up doing it for Christmas. I did it today, so. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow I work 10.30 to 7. I guess that's that. That's really it for this update. I feel like it was long for no good reason because my mind is not present. I'm kind of tired. I still haven't edited a single thing this week. It's okay though. I decided the other night, so Christmas Eve, I came to the conclusion that even though like originally this wasn't my mindset, but like it kind of should have been all along, um, I took this week off in a way, like work-wise, like I guess YouTube-wise, I took it off just to kind of be able to focus more on Christmas. Originally it was just because I was like gift shopping and again, it wasn't really on purpose. But then as I thought about it, I'm like, no, actually that's kind of nice. I got to kind of spend a little bit more time with friends and family and I wasn't putting too much pressure on myself to get videos up, even though I wanted it. Like in the back of my head, I was like, 
it's okay if it doesn't happen so yeah that's what happened this week even though I'm, i haven't edited it's okay it's kind of like an off week still some filming but mostly off oh if you're wondering about a jaw update i feel like i'm starting to finally feel some of the effects of like the the paralysis i guess it's very strange very very strange so i guess we'll see how it keeps going i'll talk to you guys tomorrow goodbye okay so editing britney here to say i did not update you the next day <laughs> um so we're just ending the vlog here i did make another vlog for like new year's it's a it's another kind of mini year vlog so stay tuned for that if you're interested if not that's cool too and also um emoji for the video uh let's do let's do a snowflake because that was originally going to be my nail idea and i just didn't go through with it so if you want to leave an emoji comment a snowflake down below thank you all so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one happy holidays